Who stole my pen? Hey, we never got our menus. Oh, be right back. Excuse me, can you check on our food? It's been 45 minutes. You betcha. Um, I asked for a refill 10 minutes ago. Awesome. All right, here you go. This isn't what we ordered. Um... You're at your favorite barbecue restaurant, but the waiter you've been assigned is terrible. He's friendly enough, but he can't seem to get anything right. Do you stay quiet to keep him from getting fired? Or do you speak up and demand the service you deserve? What would you do? Oh, here's my pen. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is what you ordered. No, not even close. We've tested this dilemma before. In Memphis, Tennessee. where we found patrons overwhelmingly forgiving. You know what, I had to put a smile to it, because I have to think, like, what he's doing his best. Now, I didn't want to cost the poor man his job. But will people be as patient with our waiter James here at Brother Jimmy's in White Plains, New York? There you go. How are you guys doing today? James seats his first customers, and right off the bat, Devin Bubois realizes something's missing. Y'all set to eat? Where's our menus at? Oh, so you don't know what you want yet? Okay. We didn't see a menu yet. Oh, okay. I'll grab you one. He looks puzzled. Uh, our water? Yes, be right back. And right away, he gets up to commiserate with his thirsty neighbors. Little does he know, they're also actors. I just heard your accent for water, so yeah. that's why yeah. I just came over. Something's wrong. Right. You haven't bought us a menu yet. Finally, James brings a menu. There you go. We only get one menu. Oh, do you need two? Absolutely. She needs one, and I need one. Oh. You gotta do better than what you're doing, man. Of course. I'll be right back. No water yet. Now, what'll he do when our actor's water is delivered to him? All right, here's those two waters that you ordered. No, they ordered the waters. You guys aren't thirsty? Give them that water. OK, that's for you. They decide to order up a quick exit. So we send in the manager. Is everything OK? Those young ladies asked for water four times. And I had to demand that he give them young ladies their water. Time to let them know. It's what would you do? Oh, my shot. God. <laughs> I want to give him a shot, because I don't want to see him without a job. Uh, I couldn't take it no more after that. What's the moral of the story? You never know who's watching. I would have never thought in a million years this was you. <laughs> Back on the job, James continues making mistakes. I just wanted two, one for one for me. I had thought you, that you said two for you and two for you. Here you go, the frickles. I didn't order that. Did you order the frickles? No. Maybe I ordered them? Was that a joke? They don't seem amused. <laughs> They'd like the check, please. We just want to pay, and then we want to sleep. And they head for the door. So far, James has sent two tables walking. Hey there, folks. So this time around, he settles in. It's an approach that worked for our waiter back in Memphis. We got into a big fight the other day. You want to talk about it? These customers listened to his girlfriend troubles for 10 straight minutes. I'd really prefer she just would forgive me if I forget her birthday. But what about here in New York? You're in love? I am in love. How long have you been going out with that? It was almost a year. Yeah. When went wrong? I forgot her birthday. <laughs> That's I don't know crazy. where right now. I know. Just like the customers in Memphis, these New Yorkers lend a listening ear before delivering a New York style compliment. How's our waiter doing here? He's uh, the best waiter I've seen so far. Thank that you. It's not what my girlfriend I, says. I... Next up, how will these ladies deal with our lousy waiter? Here's that menu. No and are you all yeah. set to order? No, it's just got it. I just have got to it. Look. Oh. Okay. <laughs> While they look, he returns with an unordered appetizer. Here you go, the frickles you ordered. No, we didn't, we didn't order, order anything. anything. 
We ordered. We ordered. Oh. Give, Give them, them to them. them, please, before it gets cold. Sorry, these frickles make me frazzled. <laughs> he may be frazzled, but what about them? We didn't order cold. Oh, I thought you said you wanted something cold. No, we said it's yeah. cold out. <laughs> I'll have something to talk to Brad about tonight. I can't wait to tell Linda about this one. <laughs> and when it's time to finally place their order... I just kind of find my pen. Right on the She takes it upon herself to write it down for him. Two old sandwiches. Meanwhile, our actors at the next table have something to celebrate. It's her birthday, but I want it to be a surprise. Oh. How will they react when they get the surprise? Happy birthday! No, it's Happy not. birthday! It's her birthday. It's it's birthday! Oh, it's your birthday too? No! Give her a cake, please! After everything they put up with, will they rat him out to his boss? What, is there a problem with this service? No, he's very sweet. Okay. No, it's time to let them know he's also an actor. It's what would you do? <laughs> what did you think of our waiter? <laughs> it's really funny. It was a good laugh. Why not complain to the manager? He was such a pleasant person. But a lousy waiter. He made an interesting day for us. And as my son always says, now you have a great story. <laughs> and lunch, well, it's on us.